cornea is the clear window of the eye. It allows light into the eye and helps in focusing it onto the retina. Any abnormality in its size and shape causes severe visual disability. Keratoglobus is one such condition. It is characterized by a generalized limbus to limbus corneal thinning. Surgical management of keratoglobus is challenging because of extreme thinness of the entire cornea. Standard keratoplasty is very difficult to perform in these cases and even if technically successful, the optical result is likely to be suboptimal because of inequality of the corneal periphery. Lamellar keratoplasty in these cases has to be very large which ends up destroying the host limbal stem cells. A tectonic lamellar keratoplasty followed up by the secondary optical penetrating keratoplasty is a viable option. However, it is a two-stage procedure as lamellar keratoplasty alone may not confer optimal visual acuity. We describe a new single-stage technique of a central lamellar graft with peripheral intralamellar tuck which not only acts tectonically but also provides good visual outcome. A vacuum trephine is used to make an initial partial thickness groove. Lamellar dissection is carried out in two stages and directions. First, centripetal dissection is done to remove the lamellar corneal disc from the host tissue to create a central bed. Following complete dissection of the bed, an intrastromal pocket is created in the periphery circumferentially. A full thickness graft is punched and the endothelium is crapped off. Cutting with a fine curved Varna scissors, a bevel or a flange of approximately 2 mm is created in the periphery to complement the pocket created in the host. The button is placed over the host bed. The flange of the graft is tucked into the peripheral pocket of the host created previously and the graft is sutured tightly. It is important to note the path which the needle should take. The needle has passed partial thickness through the graft and then into the peripheral pocket up to the limbus. A 40-year-old male with bilateral keratoglobus was taken up for this surgery in the right eye. A corneal trephine of 8.5 mm was centered and used to make an initial partial thickness groove of approximately 200 microns. Two-staged lamellar dissection of the host bed was done. Following the complete dissection of the bed, an intrastromal pocket was created in the periphery circumferentially. A full thickness graft of 12.5 mm diameter was punched and the endothelium was scrapped off. A 2 mm bevel was created in the periphery. Paracentesis was done in the recipient cornea at 9 o'clock position to flatten the central dome of the host bed. The bevel of the graft was tucked into the peripheral pocket of the host and the graft was sutured with interrupted 10-0 nylon sutures. At one year post-operative follow-up, visual acuity improved to 20 by 30. We believe that this procedure of central lamellar keratoplasty with peripheral intralamellar tuck has the potential for restoration of structural integrity as well as visual rehabilitation in a single stage procedure. All this can be achieved without compromising the host limbal stem cells. So for keratoglobus, tuck it in.